Hello all, I hope you're all well. Today I am going to talk to you about a piece of hardware. Now the hardware in question is the eLeaf iStick Mix with the LO Pop tank on top. Now this has been kindly sent in for review by eSig Click. Thanks to eSig Click for this. Um, my written review will be in the comments below. So you'll be able to have a look if you're not into videos or don't like my ugly face or anything like that. You can have a, a, a read through my thorough in-depth review of this kit. So like I say, it is the E-Leaf e -E -Leaf, e -Leaf iStick Mix Kit. A little pop tank on top and the mod. What we'll do guys, same as usual, go down to the table, have an up close and personal with the device box content and all that sort of business come back up top we'll talk about pros cons and my general thoughts about this product yeah so without further ado let's go down to the table and have a look see you there okay then here we have the e-leaf eye stick mix obviously that's the color i've got it says on the front with a sticker to mill obviously being TPD UK that's what we've got looking on the side you've got your scratch and sniff e leaf the other side various social media outlets for e leaf nothing on the other side then you've got on the back I stick mix Full kit contents, max output wattage is 160 watts, input voltage 5 volts, 21 plus, all the relevant vaping smoking age in your country, won't make you pregnant, recyclable Church of England and don't throw it in a bin. Now it says there the colour that I have got is Wind Ninja. Hiya! There you go. So let's open the box. Just a simple E leaf on there. Now, this box is an absolute pain in the ass to get open. It's like vacuum sealed when you're trying to open the fucking thing. So, looking inside the box, you've got your LO pop tank at the top, and you've got the mod. So, we'll take the tank first. When you first get it, you've got the slim 2mm glass or plastic in this case, um, TPD version. We'll change that out in a minute. So you've got uh, airflow adjustment at the bottom. What you change on one side, you change exactly on the other. LO pop on the bottom. Don't throw it in the bin. Church of England and E leaf at the top you've got a nice drip tip there all matchy matchy you can put your own uh, drip tips on 510 drip tips there you go now child safety feature so it says see the arrow there you lift it up lift it up and push forward I would have preferred just a simple push forward but there you go, safety features. You've got a nice sized kidney hole there at the top to fill your e-liquid into. So let's take it apart. Just wash this so I've got water all over my hand. You get the bottom there is your coil, mesh coil. Now this coil in here is the HWM2. Um, 0 0.2 ohms 40 to 90 watt it says now I've been vaping this at 50 watt not a problem at all I've tried it out at 90 does not make a difference to this coil this coil is very good don't know if you can see the actual mesh in there but very very happy with the way this has performed obviously change the coil 
for the spare one in the pack you just take it out replace it and screw it back in so I shall just leave that there a moment because I'll put the glass on that's actually in the packaging um, which is a 5 mil. so before we look at the mod I'll just take this out you've got your various safety aspects there it's actually got which is is quite good um, each individual coil that they have the HW1 2 3 4 and the HD HW1 C gives you the best wattage flavor purity and vapor cloud also again HW series coil on there which is a very very useful if you're choosing your coils so you've got that there you've got a basic quick start guide for the LO pop tank warning cards about battery safety don't use batteries with torn casings etc etc and you've got your user manual for the main mod itself as we look in the packaging we've got this glass which i'll go on to in a moment then you've got spare o-rings spare coil usb c charger and mini usb there so that is it from the box we'll just go back to the tank now as you can see this is the UK or European TPD version. Look at that. Absolute gash. Get rid of that. Anyway, one that actually does come in the kit is this nice little glass with the it's got like a, a rubberized feel to these. Obviously, instead of using your, your cock ring on all your stuff. You've got this on here and it's supposed to, there you go, it gives it a, a bounce. There you go. So put that on there. Back on there. This is the configuration that I've been actually using it in. And that fills 4 mil worth of e-liquid in there. Because I have actually tested it. that there for one moment so the mod itself I love I love this design obviously resin on one side the plastic on the other um, mix I stick USB-C port there for charging although I wouldn't recommend doing that got the button on the top there i don't like the button you see the round little grooves in there yeah you get all the crap and stuff from your fingers up down and the main oled screen at the bottom don't throw it in a bin church of england battery venting so as i say this is your resin part and that's your plastic part i love that i wish that door was matching that it's lovely anyway as i say take that off batteries self-explanatory there so we'll put some batteries in And there you go, mod is on straight away. You've got um, your battery indicators there, your ohms at the top, how many volts. And in this instance, I have got a puff counter, although you can change it. Obviously, up and down, up, down, and all the way up to 160. And it doesn't round robin, so... 
go back down again all the way back down well 35 so if you want to put it in stealth mode it's the power button oh, that's not stealth mode let's have a look not doing it ah well there you go so we'll do a three clicks of the button so you've got wattage mode m3 2 1 stainless steel titanium nickel and all that sort of stuff there you go so we'll leave that on wattage so the up button and fire you go into a different menu so here we have you can see there this gives you what you have i've got my puff counter obviously the third choice you've got puff counter time or amps so this is i've got puff counter there you go and there you go the little ghost stealth mode on or off off at the moment and then you've got your power power duration power duration or exit logo i presume it's just turning on and off this is firmware upgradable by the way and you've got that's the firmware version how many volts per battery and that's it very very simple easy to get in and use it really really is so that's it from the mod itself very very classy looking indeed sits in the hand perfect let's put the tank on the top look at that very nice looking mod i would highly recommend getting one of these um, i've had no problems using it it's absolutely been a pleasure to review it really really has like i say the only gripe is that should match that it doesn't but i presume they'll be bringing out doors and stuff for for you to buy so that's it guys um up close personal with the e-leaf i stick mix Let's go back up top and I'll give you my pros, cons and all that sort of business. We'll have a chat about it. See you up there, guys. So, there you had an up close and personal with the E-Leaf, e, I keep saying E-Leaf, E-Leaf iStick Mix Kit um pros to it it's a nice looking kit i like it i mean it's resin shitload out there i'll talk about that in a minute it's a nice looking kit it fit, fits nice in the hand even with a dual 18650 batteries inside it's not too heavy at all i think without batteries it's roughly about 145 uh, 145 grams so it's not bad. It's a good looking piece of kit. Put your own atomizer on there, dripper, tank or whatever. And it looks nice. Um, it resembles or resembles. Doesn't resemble. It resembles a fucking lot. But um, it hits wattage pretty much um, on the nose, to be honest. It's more or less instant fire. It's not... Probably you wait in a second, just under, for it to start firing, um, which isn't bad at all. Um, it, re it really isn't. Like I say, pros, pretty much on the money with the wattage. Um, max 160 watts. Not that you'll go that high, but it's there, that, there if you need it. Um, nice, easy menu system. It shows you the battery display there if it goes into focus you know 
dual battery display there shows you the batteries um um, uh, all your all your general stuff it's pretty pretty straightforward it really is there's nothing too complicated about this so that's a pro um for that cons for the mod uh just minor niggly bits all right one con it's resin there's a shitload of resin out there if you look back on my channel um i've not long uh done the ijoy shogun resin these look very, very similar indeed. Very similar. There's a lot of similar ones out there. Um, another con for me. I love that. But this battery cover is different. Yeah, it's all right. But I would like to have it matching. Both sides matching with that. Whether they'll bring out matching doors, I don't know. But it would be nice to have that side matching to that side. Well that side matching to that side um it would be really nice <clears throat> another con for me is that bloody fire button i don't know if you can see it. you probably saw it down on the um up close anyway but there's rings around there there's little bloody rings and you know what you're like you're out and about you're doing bits and bobs you're pressing the fire button and you get fucking muck stuck in it and it's a pain in the ass you have to especially with me when we all see that you have to root round, get this shit out and all that sort of stuff. Um, and that's about it from the con Ooh, cons as well. The screen, if you're outside, it's not, you struggle a little bit in the sun. That's about it. All other times, indoors, normal light outside, not bright sun. It's fine. Um, cons. That's it. There's not a hell of a lot of cons uh, to talk about this mod at all. As I say, dual 18650. The battery life, I wouldn't say it's excellent, but you get a good few hours out of it. As you, as you can expect from a typical dual 18650 mod. Now, the tank on top, the LO Pop. Now, I've got in here the HW M2. 0.2 ohm coil inside and the flavor from this is really really good um a lot of I've, I've tested stock coilers before from different companies and they've not been good at all this isn't too bad it really isn't you get decent decent flavor from it as you can see as you saw down at the table my version is the two mil tpd com, uh, version and it's as much use as tits on a fish all right it's the law all that sort of shit but that two mil thing as you saw down at the table is a load of fucking bollocks it really is now this that comes with it four mil in there measured it with my old syringe um and pull that you can see the bands around there um it's a bit of a pro and it's a bit of a con whichever way you look at it you might think it looks a bit shit and the longevity of the sticking on your glass is another thing that may come into question as you go along using the mod but the idea in principle it's there to stop your tank cracking and breaking if it falls over um stops you putting them fucking cock rings on there you know um so it's not bad in principle Another thing, yeah, I would have preferred, much preferred, just a simple slide top instead of, I know it's child safety, you pull it up, push it across. Um, it's not that hard, but it's just another little one for me. I would have just preferred simple slide across, fill up. Bottom airflow is fine, it's not overly airy. not too different to a lot of other tanks out there and and all in all it's a good piece of kit good mod good tank good flavor you know decent airflow you cannot say any more than that i would give this probably a seven and a half out of ten it looks nice it does the job it does the job well tank gives good flavor 
and you cannot ask any more from it. So I think E-Leaf with the iStick Mix Kit have done a very, very good job. Now, prices aren't out yet in the UK. Looking on the UK website, uh, sorry, on the US website, around about $90 for the full kit. When it comes out in the UK, we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Please like and share. If you aren't already subscribed, please hit that subscription button down below. Really appreciate it if you can. Hit the notification bell, future uploads, updates, and all that sort of shenanigans, yeah? Thank you again for watching, guys. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, have a really great, great day, night, evening, whatever. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again.